the troubleshooting by layers. Now, there is not one way how to do that right. Different people have different strategies. One of the most common strategies is to start at the bottom layer and work your way up. So first you would look, say somebody says, we don't have connectivity in this dormitory or in this department. You might be starting by looking at, do I have wireless signal at all, raw physical signal, and then work your way up. Others prefer to come from the top down. They will first see, okay, can I reach a certain website? If not, can I reach an IP? So can it have something with D to do with DNS and so forth? And then you work your way down. Personally, I'm quite a fan of a start in the middle approach because it minimizes my time for troubleshooting. I'll be starting on TCP IP level, I'll be doing pinging. If my ping show already goes wrong, I can't ping what I'm expecting to be able to ping, then I know that I probably need to move down in the layer because something underneath is already wrong. If the pings all fine, then I can look at routing, I can yeah, look at subnetting, VLANs and stuff and work my way up from there. But it's really up to your own taste and there is not one good strategy. The important thing is that you make good decisions based on what you're seeing. And I would encourage actually making graphics like this, like drawing this series of yes and no questions, like my example here, can I ping something? If I can't ping, probably I'd be looking at, can I see my gateway? If I can't see the gateway, what about my own IP? Am I on the right network at all? If I don't even have a valid IP on the correct subnet, I would be moving down and look, have I associated correctly to the Wi-Fi access point and so forth and so forth. And this will look different from case to case. No two networks are exactly the same. But some of these guidelines are quite universally applicable. So you can use this as a sort of orientation guideline, but then don't forget to make your own good decisions along the way. Here's another one working from the bottom layer up. Do I have a raw Wi-Fi signal? Well, if I don't, it doesn't make sense to look for TCP IP problems. So I'd be going down and look at is the Wi-Fi interface up? If that's not the case, well, switch it on. If it is, then check, can my interface talk to an AP? Can it reach an AP and so forth? You build the same tree-like graphics here, trees of yes and no uh, answers. These charts will never be quite complete. There might, There will be things you are overlooking and you might be hitting very complex problems, unexpected things. Even after 20 years of wireless networking, I'm still often meeting things that I don't think I've ever seen before. And they sometimes come from corners that you never thought about. I'll give you one simple example. Um, as our networks become more complex and there's more devices, more connectivity, I'm, I tend to see more problems that come from having too many connection options rather than too little. Like TCP IP being a network that is based on a two-way communication. I'm asking a question. I am expecting an acknowledgement. I've seen situations in which due to a faulty routing and TCP IP design, 
my physical connectivity was all fine, but I never got my ACK because the ACK, due to some routing mistake, just went on a completely different wireless subnet. So what I'm describing here is problems that actually come from the complexity and a too many connectivity options rather than connectivity not working. And I've seen more and more of these as networks grow. The best thing to do is to remember some principles, and I hope I have given some of those here. There's some more. A little important thing is never depend on just one user's report. Verify measurements, send to three, four, five people. Maybe have a little measurement unit, a little cart with five laptops and phones on it which you can shuttle into the places where people are reporting problems so that you can actually verify with many devices, not just one. And you can mix different operating systems and devices to exclude platform specific problems in that way. If you're uncertain, if it's a wireless problem, yes or no, most wireless infrastructure allows you to plug in a cable somewhere and make it a wired check in the first place. If you're uncertain if it's your own fault or your ISP, measure direct on your line to your ISP and then measure inward. This kind of uh, general principles and you will develop your own repertoire of such strategies the longer you do this. So I hoped this talk did the following things, give you an understanding of the differences between wireless and wired networking, demonstrated why layer thinking and the layer approach to monitoring and management is needed and useful, and introduce some of the important tools and strategies on each of these layers and how to make them work together.